Hey, this is George Free from Martial Arts Media, and I'm joined today with Dave Richardson. Now, Dave is based in Brisbane from Kung Fu Southside. And Dave is also one of our first members of the Martial Arts Media Academy. So we're going to have just a bit of a, a chat about his experience and his journey. So welcome to the call, Dave. G'day, George. Thank you, mate, for having me on your uh, podcast. Awesome. So uh, let's uh, let's just go back to the beginning. Um, before you got started with the Martial Arts Media Academy, what's, so what is it that made you join? Was it a problem that you were trying to solve or something? Or what sort of vision did you have in mind in the beginning? Funnily enough, in the beginning, it just started off uh, over a, a cup of coffee with a mate of mine, uh, Jack Long from Practical Wing Chun. He pointed out uh, your martial arts uh, media um, Facebook page, I think it was, and I looked into it, and then um, yeah, you had the academy there, and um, yeah, it sort of it went from there because I was uh, really wanting to to make my school go full time. Um, at that stage, it wasn't. Um, yeah, so I was just hungry for information and uh, and help to uh, get into an industry that uh, I'd been a part of, but only on the on the outskirts. Okay, so so give us a bit of a. a, a a background so because you you currently got the you got the school you're transitioning into full-time and you're still working a business during the day right yes correct correct um the school started in a shed in my backyard and we outgrew that and uh, we ended up moving into a uh, a commercial premises and then um yeah it was just traveling under its own steam uh and then i i realized that this is this is my calling uh, and I'd rather be rather be teaching people kung fu than uh, than killing bugs in my pest control business. So um, yeah, the transition is uh, is still being made, uh, but yeah, definitely uh, now um, kung fu is is taking up more and more time and and generating more income. Cool. So how are you juggling the two at this point in time? You've got you've got the so you've got the pest control business, right? Yes. Cool. So how's the juggle going between the transitioning between that and the kung fu school <laughs> you've hit the nail on the head juggle is the right word um time management was one of the skills that uh i've really had to uh, had to learn um so trying to uh to portion time where i can focus on the school not just the teaching side of it but the actual uh building of the business side of it as well so that's what i've done i've set aside two days a week where um my focus is on on building the business side of of the school awesome so what's uh, if if we look at you know when you entered the academy and 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 work working with me what are the sort of top two or three things that's that's made the biggest impact for you oh george one of the uh the the biggest things was the um a the website uh, because I built my own website, I'm, I'm one of these these guys that'll have a crack at anything. Um, doesn't mean I'm good at it, but I'll have a go at it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so the website that uh, that you did for me actually helped with conversions. It was a lot better rather than just a name, rank, and serial number type website. To actually have uh, a website that funneled, for want of a better word, funneled people to a, a um, an offer page and uh, and the offer that you've you presented with me as part of the academy really has made uh, made a difference as well so that was one of them the email sequence follow up you have to follow up if you don't follow through um, you don't get anywhere um, and then also the the Facebook um, using Facebook to uh, the, and the marketing strategies there um, is is really generating more website traffic as well as its own uh, Facebook traffic as well. Awesome, and you you hit the nail on the head there with you know like and I think if, uh, you find it especially in the martial arts industry that you know people are go getters, so you want to do everything yourself. Um, and and, and uh, there's a top marketer who calls it the superhero syndrome. You you just want to take it all on. And, and do it yourself. And with a website, if you've got a little tech knowledge, it's actually an easy thing to put the tech together. So there's no, and you know, you can hire most people to, to put that part together for you. But then when it comes to the actual strategy from front to back, 
that's where that's where the real thinking part comes in because to really have it in a in a way structured in a way that's going to convert and obviously deliver your message the you know your strengths and what it is that makes your school unique and be, that be congruent that when they actually walk in that there's a there's a connect connection not um they saw a stock image in a fancy place and now they walk in in a place that's you know completely different as such yes yeah that's that and that's true yeah and like you said the um anybody can put a website together hey i did it if if i can do it then anybody can do it but yeah the way it was structured um yeah that's that's an experience that i didn't have uh, and that certainly made a made a difference as well yeah cool and then and then of course the email now um email some people refer to as the the old school way of marketing but it's still the one item that everybody has is an email address mm-hmm. and and i think a lot of people miss it you know when people say email is not working i say you're not doing it right um, because mm. that's that's generally the experience it's easy to blame the platform people say that all day about facebook about google the platform doesn't work but it's it's really again it comes down to the strategy of it and it's the 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 what the reason why we put a lot of focus on email is most martial arts school owners are, of course, time poor. So I, I guess that's a general thing with, in any business owner. So if you look at the things that you can automate in a structure, that's the one method where people are going to, there is going to be some text exchange if it's not over the phone, then we want to look at leveraging your time. And leveraging your time means, of course, putting the automation systems in place that can do a lot of the legwork for you. So when you are doing the follow-up, that there are some ways that you can contact everybody on mass that still feels personal and still building a relationship. Um, yeah, that helps you, you know, set you apart and get your time back at the end of the day. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And you hit the nail on the head when you said strategy, um, because you can send an email to uh, to anyone, then it can be exactly the same as that website that they had. That was name, rank, and serial number. I'm Joe Bloggs from. Um, XYZ martial arts school and we cost this much you can ring me on this number and you've just given all the people the information and there's no relationship built so that was a big thing was the 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 strategy in building the relationship through email Uh, and that that strategy can carry across to your Facebook messages anything like that yeah so it's not about just giving information it's about building a relationship Definitely so, and and obviously, yeah, it, it comes down to the understanding of that the the way of communication, and that sort of trickles through. How about Facebook? Because you said it's it's sort of all um, you know the different components, as in a strategy, is working together for you. Yeah, like, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, running a, a few different strategies um, that are say informational. Uh, then there's competitions, then there's the offer. So just basically getting the brand out there, just stand, standing up and say, hey, here we are. You might not get a, um, a an, an initial response from whatever you put out there, but you're getting put in front of people. Um, and that's the main thing because people might not be ready to start now. Classic example is my mistiming of my last Facebook strategy with um, the daytime classes. School holidays were on. I didn't even take that into account. And uh, all of the mums that wanted to start during the day because they have free time couldn't because they were looking after the kids. So hopefully next week we'll have uh, a big influx of, uh, of mothers coming in for the, uh, for the daytime classes like, uh, like they've all responded to us. But, yeah, <laughs> I was standing there by myself there the first day. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all good. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just, and, and I'm, I'm going to be creating a separate video about this. But um, I was attending a, a training with Dean Jackson, and he was talking about um, identifying the five star prospects and and making peace with the fact that eighty five percent of your prospects are not ready to join now. They are ready to join, perhaps because they've expressed interest, but somewhere. And, and the time frame, they, they, they apply this in the property market especially, but their, their strategy is that 100% of their prospects are going to join within the next two years. So it, it takes the pressure off of sifting the 15% that's ready to join now and then the 85% that's 
going to join later. And the, the whole concept behind this is how do you go about your marketing? Are you, are you serving that 85%? Because if you're serving the 85%, the 15% will just jump on board anyway um, because they're ready. But if you focus all your efforts on you, you know, too much strategy of you, I've got to get them on board now, you risk of actually turning the 85% off because your marketing is so hard and in your face type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I'd never thought of it that way. Um, that's for sure. Um, and instant gratification is, is always good. Like if you put something out there and then next thing uh, it, it's going off, that's that's great. And look, it's I've had uh, that happen with a couple of Facebook promotions that I've done. And it's really been great because it's helped boost numbers quickly, um, which is what everybody wants they want to boost numbers but like um we have, we have a saying in uh, in in wing chun that you start with the first form which is the base form you build your foundation there if you haven't got the good foundation then the rest of it isn't going to work it it will it might work to a degree but it has a high chance of falling over. So, um, yeah, you've got to have that foundation there first. So the way I look at it is the website's got to be good. You've got to have a good web presence, and then you can start adding the um, the quick responses. So putting out the uh, the Facebook promos and stuff like that that's going to generate the interest. But like you say, that 85% have to have something there for them as well. Yeah, definitely so. So, um, Dave... What sort of what's the biggest impact this this whole journey working with me has had on the business and personally, especially now that you're taking this role of creating more content and taking on a different position and stance within within the business? Oh, George, I'm I'm a t- the type of person that is always keen to learn. I'm I'm I've got a hunger for knowledge. Um, so it's been a great journey with you doing the um, all of the different aspects of what we've covered in the academy. Say so from um, how your website should be structured, um, the email sequences, then uh, how to how to work Facebook. I mean, how many modules was that? That was <laughs> that did my head in. <laughs> it's still doing my head in. <laughs> um, but that's that was only part of it. It was about um, knowing your target market. Um, who am I actually trying to get through the door? Yeah, the other thing that was really helpful was the uh, the coaching calls and uh, and going through the websites and and whatnot and how to tweak this and change that and and work uh, together um, in the academy to to make it all fit, make the pieces fit. Because one thing to have all of the pieces of the puzzle. But if they're scattered all over the board, it doesn't make much sense. So that was uh, a key thing to uh, to making it work was uh, the, the coaching calls and putting the puzzle together. Yes, thanks, thanks, Dave. Because um, and and I'm glad you you mentioned that because it, it's especially in this internet digital age, it's really easy to get information. You can you can yeah. get it in groups. You can um, take a piece here and you can take a piece here and you can take someone's strategy. But if you don't have the whole strategy and you don't have someone to really help you put it together, that's where people get stuck because you are time poor and now you buy this course and you're reading through it. Taking the information in is easy. That's the easy part. It's yeah. actually having to put it into practice. That's that's where the obstacles come in. And and if you don't have someone that can say, all right, but hey, maybe you should just just adjust this and adjust this. That's that's what's going to really make the difference. That did certainly did make a difference, yeah, because uh, I had all the modules there. Um, like you said, information is easily accessible. Um, yeah, making it all all fit and, and work. Yeah, well, that's as a martial artist, that's what your instructor's there for. And then there was other things like when we when we met in uh, in person at the martial arts first. And um, one of the persons that we met there, um, Henry Callantog, just from his way of teaching made me look differently at the way I was learning, like with yourself and so on. Um, so you're picking up bits and pieces from everywhere. It's, um, it's, it's, and the podcasts, like the podcasts that you've been doing, I've learned so much from those guys as well. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Everything. Everything's been a positive uh, experience. There's, there's no doubt about it. Because I was green when I started, 
and uh, I'm I'm still a, a darker shade of green now, I suppose. <laughs> That's all good. I mean, you, you you're moving forward. Your business is growing. Uh, what are, what do things look like for you in the next in the next six months with your with your martial arts school? Well, mate, before we started, what was it? I think it was around July or August when we started. I think I had between fifty and sixty students, and uh, just last week we cracked the ninety mark, um, which was which was huge. Um, yeah, it's it's been really good. So um, I'm hoping after next week, with the daytime classes kicking off uh, full swing, that we'll be uh, over the hundred mark, and uh, then it's onwards and upwards. Awesome. So, uh, so I guess we should set a goal live on the on the on the podcast, then, right? <laughs> you yeah. want accountability? Well, that's one well, way to do it. I suppose. <laughs> let's just let's just tell the world that we're going to have Dave Richardson back on the podcast for when he strikes hundred and how many students? Uh, let's let's make it one hundred and fifty. A nice, realistic, easy one. Uh, we'll do that easy. Yeah. All right. There we go. So everybody knows. 150 students, Dave Richardson will be back on the Martial Arts Media Business Podcast. There we go. <laughs> uh, now awesome. you put me on the spot. <laughs> and it's, it, it, can't, it can't be any, any better than that. Yeah. Just putting it out there could probably get it a lot sooner than what you'd expect. Yeah. And anybody that's listening to this, um, if, if you know Dave, hit him up and say, all right, we're rooting for you. We, we're waiting for the 150 students. <laughs> the uh, excellent. Well, buddy. Thanks, George. Thanks, George. <laughs> All right, awesome. Just, just to wrap it up, um, who, who would you recommend join the Martial Arts Academy and, and, and why do you feel so? Mate, look, the, anybody who has a martial arts school, you, you can't go wrong. Um, anybody who is a, a young martial arts school, uh, if you've got no tech savvy at all, definitely um, get on board. Uh, you'll learn a lot. Um, I had a very minimal um, technological um, advantage, <laughs> disadvantage, um, and yeah, I was I was able to now be able to uh, to implement all of the um, the automation for the email. Um, using Facebook, the website. So anybody who um, has a school, starting a school, or wants to grow their business, um, get proactive. You invest in yourself, invest the time in yourself, and the dividends will pay for themselves, yeah. Awesome. And for anybody interested in, in checking it out, martialartsmedia.academy is where you can get more more information. So just go check that out and, and yeah. Join us in the academy. Yeah, look forward to it. Awesome. Great great to have you on, Dave. And um, I'm probably going to be speaking to you again. When is it? When In about, 50, in about 60 students' time. Oh, uh, no, no, I just wanted a time frame on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I, I think we've put you under enough pressure. So, yeah, in about 60 <laughs> students' time. Let's, let's keep it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. now game on challenge accepted awesome good stuff Dave <laughs> thanks for being on the show and we'll speak to you again in 60 students good on you George thank you mate cheers cheers